so good morning all in today's session we are going to start with the unit number 6 So till now we have learned basic concepts of C++ and object oriented concepts in C++ and this unit number 6 is devoted to templates concepts in C++ In today's session we are going to learn about C++ templates function templates class template and the in this session i'm going to focus on function template we will begin with the syntax of function template then i will explain function template with example along with the cone de demonstration function templates with multiple parameters in function template you can give multiple parameters that we are also going to learn in today's session along with simple example with demonstration so this is the outline of today's session let's begin with the c++ templates a c++ template is a powerful feature added to c++ why it is called as powerful when you use this template you will understand how why it is called as powerful feature so this is the feature added in c++ it allows you to define generic classes and generic functions and thus provides support for generic programming as c++ supports this generic classes and generic functions it supports the generic programming what is this generic programming is generic programming is a technique where generic types are used as parameters in algorithms so that they can work for a variety of data types so with the help of generic programming you can pass or we can or you can simply play with your code with respect to with the with this uh, irrespective of your data types how to do this we will we are going to learn by using the template so templates can be represented in two ways first is function templates and second is the class template these are the two ways for the templates class template and function template let's begin with the function templates we can define a template for a function for example we have add function we can create version of the add function for adding the integer float or double type values irrespective of data type you can make use of add function to do the addition of the variables next is class template in this class template we can define a template for class for example a class template can be created for the array class that can accept the array of various types such as integer array float array or double array 
So you can define the class template. It is used for creating the array of various types. For example, integer array, float array, and double array. So let's begin with the function template. Generic functions use the concept of function template. These generic functions use the concept of function. Define a set of operations that can be applied to the various types of data. The generic functions define a set of operations that can be applied to various types of data. Once we go through the sample, simple uh, code, you can understand it will support the various types of data. The type of data that the function will operate it depends on the type of the data passed as a parameter. What kind of, what type of data you are passing as a parameter, it depends on that type of the data. For example, quick sorting algorithm is implemented using generic function and it can be implemented to an array of integers or array of floats. Once you implement this quick sorted algorithm using the generic function, you can apply this function to array of integers or to sort the float numbers. Once you do the write a function for quick sort algorithm using the generic function. That's why it is called as powerful feature. A generic function is created by using the keyword template. Keyword in C++ that you have gone through the, in the beginning of the lecture. Template. The template defines this template will define what function will do. So this is the syntax of function template. This is the template in less than and greater than. You have to mention the class keyword and after that you have to mention the t type. This is the mention return type of the function. Then you have to mention the function name and then parameter list. So this is the template. Uh, this is the syntax for function template. Again, I'm repeating this. Just remember the syntax. You have to use the template keyword. And then you have to mention class and T type. This is your return type of the function. This is the name of the function. And this is the so open the curly brackets and you have to mention the body of the function. Here it is, you have to mention the body of the function. That is what the function will do. That code you have to write inside this function body. The syntax for the template. And this T type, it is a placeholder name for data type used by the function. It's a, it is called a placeholder name. Means some area which holds the any type of data. It is used.
Am I audible and screen is visible? Anyone? Yes, sir. Sorry? Screen is visible, na? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. So again, I am repeating this. Signature of function. This is the signature of the function. And the syntax is you have to use the template keyword. And then in these brackets, you have to mention the class and t type. And then you have to mention the return type of the function, function name, and parameter list. So keep in mind this is the syntax of the function template. You are familiar with this function definition. Okay, only thing is that you have to remember this template and then class. Type. The rest of the things are same. Open the curly bracket, write down the body of the function, and close the function. So this is the syntax for function template. So this T type is a placeholder name for a data type used by the function. It is used within the function definition. It is only a placeholder that the compiler will automatically replace this whole placeholder within the actual data. It is called as placeholder. This T type is called as placeholder. It will hold the any type of data. Whereas this class, a class keyword is used to specify a generic type in a template declaration. So let's begin with simple example of function template. Hash include I would string using namespace std template class t return type is t add and these are the parameters. So this is the function template function template class t t this t is written type keep in mind uh, and then add and then it will receive two parameters then inside this template we will have the result is equal to a plus b it is again type t then you have to say return result return the result so here it is you have to close the template function what this template function will do it will access it will receive two parameters it will do the addition of these two parameters and at the end it will return the result keep in mind this result is is of type t that's why we have written here t and it will return the result which is of type t that's why the return type of the function is t which is mentioned over here integer main in integer main you have to open the curly bracket once you open the curly bracket you have to write the code integer i is equal to 20 sorry 2 integer j is equal to 3 float m is equal to 2.3 float 
plot m is equal to 2.3. So these are the three variables we have mentioned in the main i, j, and u. Now, one more variable of type float that is float n is equal to 1.2. Then, C out addition of i and j is, and we have called the function of type generic type add i comma j. So from this, the control goes to this function. And this function will receive two passing two parameters, it will receive two parameters over here. And then it will do the addition, these two variables, and it will return the result. Then one uh, line slash n, and then again addition of m and n is add m. n. So here it is. Add m n. M is type. M and n both are type type in the float. And you are using the same function. Same function will get called, but the num parameters types are different. That is float. And same function, same function will be executed. And at this time, this a and b will hold the type of data float. That's why it is called as generic. And then it will return zero. So this is the code which will demonstrate the temp function template. Now anyone tell me what will be the output of this code? Yes, anyone? Yes, addition of INJ is what? Yes, and addition of MNN is? Yes, 3.5. This is the correct answer. So, this is the output of the code. Addition of i and j is 5. And now just understand this. This add will pass the integer type. And this function is working on integer type. Okay, and you will get the output as addition of i and j is 5. Now in this case, Addition of m and n is 3.5. In this case, the same function will get called, but now instead of integer, it will work on float type. It will work on float data type. And you will get the output as addition of m and n is 3.5. Now, I'm going to demonstrate this in the code block. Before that, in the above example, we have created the function template which can perform the addition operation on any type. Either it can be integer, float, or double. So now I'm going to open the code block. Is this code visible? Yeah. 
Anyone? Yes, sir. Okay, fine. So same code is there that we have just learned. So in the beginning, we have included the IO string. We have used the namespace std. And this is the template. Template class T. Okay. You can mention T type also over here. Like this. You can mention give any name over here. No problem. Okay. So I have mentioned over here T. And then syntax of the template is what? Here you have to mention the return type of the function. So return type of the function is T. And then add. This is the name of the function. And it will receive the two parameters A and B of type T. Okay. And here it is. We have one variable result. It is again type of T. And we have done the addition of A and B and we have stored it into the result. And at the end, we have written the result back to the column. So integer main integer i is equal to 2, integer j is equal to 3, float m is equal to 2.3, float n is equal to 1.2 and here it is addition of i and j is add i comma j. So this will call this add function. So this add i comma j will call this add function. And here it is we have passed i comma j of type integer i comma j. So now at this stage, this function is working on integer data type. And it will receive the integer data type. And it will print addition of i and j is 5. The next is addition of m and n is add m comma n. Now, addition of M and N is add M comma N. Now, at this stage, to the same function, we have passed floating point numbers. To the same function, we have passed floating point fun, floating point values. And now this function will work on floating point values. The two floating point values are received over here. And then we have done the addition, we have kept it into the result and we have written back the result. And here it is, it will display the addition of M and N. So, I am going to compile the code now. It is successfully compiled, there are zero errors. 
you can see over here there are zero errors and now execute the code here it is the output addition of i and j is 5 and addition of m and n is 3.5 And with the help of this code, we have demonstrated the function template. This is called as function template. This function template will allow you to work on any kind of data, irrespective of type of the data. Now you can understand what is this meaning of irrespective of type of data. And this feature will make it more powerful in C++. You don't worry about the type of the data. Only thing is you have to pass this data to the template and it will work on that data. So this is a simple example. So, continuing with the presentation, function templates with multiple parameters. Now, we are going to learn about function template with multiple parameters. We can use more than one generic type in the template function. We can use more than one generic type in template function by using the comma to separate the list. Let's see the syntax of this. Template class T1 comma class T2 comma and so on. You can have multiple parameters to the class template sorry fun function template so here it is in the template you have to mention class t1 comma class t2 so return type is return type function name and arguments of type t1 comma t2 Open the curly brackets, write down the body of the function and close the curly bracket. You can write this statement in the next line uh, or you can continue this stat statement after this. So this is called as multiple parameters. This is called as multiple parameters. And this is the syntax to use the multiple parameters in function template. In the above syntax, we have seen that the template function can accept any number of arguments of different type. So we can have any number of arguments of different type. So let's begin with the simple example. Open, uh, include the IO stream. Use the namespace std. And let's see the template. Template, class X, and class y white function x a y b okay we can have multiple parameters inside the template you can mention here multiple parameters 
class X and class Y. So open the curly bracket. Just mention value of A is A. Value of A is A. It will just print uh, whatever value received over here will be printed over here. A. And next is value of B is B. Value of B is B. And this is the code present inside this multiple parameter function template. It will only receive two parameters and it will display the values over here. Now, in the main, I have called this function. Name of the function is fun. And we have passed one integer and we have passed one value of type double 15 and 12.3. When you call this, this template function will get executed. When you call this, this function will get executed. It will receive at x of a 15 value and b 12.3 value. And it will print the value of a over here and it will print the value of b over here. So, Can anyone tell me what will be the output of this code? Yes, anyone? Fifteen and twelve point three. Yes, this is the output of the code. Output of the code is what? Value of A is fifteen and value of B is twelve point three. This is a simple code which will only demonstrate the multiple parameters in function template. Now let's begin with the code demonstration. So this is the code. Hash include IO string. Using the namespace std. And this is the template. These are the multiple parameters, multiple parameters, class X and class one. They are separated by this comma. White function X A and Y B. X A and Y B. And then C out value of A is A. Value of B is B. And here it is in the main. We have called this function f1 15, 12.3. And now just compile the code. There are zero errors and zero warnings. You can so see over here. Now execute it. You will get the output as well of age 15 and well of age 12.3. So this is the output of the code. Mention this already namespace is used. Get more simpler. 
you will get the same output. Value of A is 15 and value of B is 12.3. So here it is. We have understood the multiple parameters in function template. 